Children are precious. Just ask any parent at this Head Start health fair held recently in Concho. Cheyenne and Arapaho children were treated to a free health screening on this day, all to the delight of parents and children alike. Well, almost everyone. Well, public health nursing for the Clinton Service Unit is the uh, lead initiator for this. And what we do is we pull uh, together with the Cheyenne Arapaho Tribes Head Start uh, department. Uh, we sit down two or three times a year and, and then we get a date. And then the people that we pull uh, to do these, because this is the third and last one, are uh, doctors and nurses, optometry, dental from the Clinton Service Unit. Actually, it's very helpful. It's comprehensive. It looks at everything that the child needs. Um, a lot of times, as a parent, you don't have time. Um, you don't have the resources. You don't have the support um, you know, to get out and be able to do all these things. To, so to have a one-stop location to get all of these things taken care of and looked at, um, it's actually a great benefit to the parent, and especially me as a kind of a new parent on, with the little ones. So it's been great. We draw a little bit of lab on them. We do heights and weights, uh, vital signs. They'll see the doctor, optometry, dental, and it's their school physical, basically. And so we spend probably six months planning this. We have one here in at Concho, um, which we serve 57 children. And then we have one at Watonga for our Canton Center which serves 31 children. And then we also just finished one in Clinton, which we serve 45 children there. Well, we're checking for visual acuity. We wanna make sure that the kids can see properly at this stage of, of their life. And we wanna catch like lazy eye and, and any type of like uh, visual disorder um, before they start school or, or before they start Head Start. Well, on lab work, for example, if their lead was high, you know, it could indicate that they uh, live in an older home that, you know, used lead paint back in the 70s, you know. And so we look for that and we look to see if they're anemic with their hemoglobin. Public health nursing, you know, one of our roles is out in the field and we work with Head Starts all the time. So we really enjoy this.